Okay. I have a special love for this plant. I feel so happy every time we get a chance to present this at QVC because, you know, monarch butterflies and their numbers have plummeted really in recent decades. Monarch butterflies can only eat and lay their eggs on one type of plant and it's milkweed. And there's actually not even as much milkweed as there used to be growing wild because farmers have gotten better at, you know, getting weeds out of their crops and that kind of thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to give you a type of milkweed that is absolutely beautiful to grow. It's a pleasure in the garden. It's actually prettier than previous versions of milkweed. So you'll have a lovely plant, but you're also going to be helping the monarch butterflies as they make their way in those long, long migrations. You're going to get an orange. You're going to get pink. So you get one of each and then you're also going to get a yellow and a white and you'll see those colors coming up. Here's the white. I want to say hello to our good friend Stephanie Walleen who joins us from Roberta. She is the fourth generation of this family owned business that brings us Roberta's and these have been so popular again this year which makes me so happy Stephanie and I know me you too, do Santa. too. So can, tell us a little bit about this selection because bread for beauty for us but also so important to the monarch butterflies absolutely i know i think this plant is as special to you as it is to me and so i love presenting it with you um but you said it perfectly at the beginning sandra you know there's only one plant in the world that the monarch butterfly is going to seek out in the garden and it is the milkweed so when i say you know it's the home and the host for the monarch butterfly and that's because when the butterfly finds this plant, as you see here, and they're gonna come, they're going to lay their eggs on the underside of each leaf. And once those eggs hatch into the caterpillar, those caterpillars are going to eat only this plant. And like you said, Sandra, for various reasons, over the last couple of decades, the monarch butterfly population has unfortunately really started to, to decline about 80%. But I will say, in the last recent years, the number is starting to tick up slowly thanks to everybody at, at home who has started to grow the Asclepias or the milkweed. So truly by planting this, you know, whether you have an apartment with just a balcony or a deck or you have a lot like two acres, by planting this in your home, you are truly doing your part in helping save and restore the monarch butterfly population. That is phenomenal. And I would say this as someone who has grown this milkweed many times, buy more than one set because yes this is the only flower in your garden that you're going to be happy when it's eaten because the monarchs will eat it. And I was, um, I was raising monarch butterflies and what ended up happening is I didn't have enough milkweed. I had to go in the middle of the season to my local garden center and buy mm -hmm. milkweed. And I will tell you, not as beautiful as the Roberta's and a lot more I, expensive. So you're getting yes, Sandra, four plants like, for this price. That's right. The same thing happened to me and actually I couldn't even find more milkweed. So I would highly recommend, like you said, pick up two or three collections. And like you mentioned, you know, traditional native milkweed, um, it's native to North America. So you can rest assured that it's going to grow easily in almost anyone's yard here. And right there, Sandra, on the left, that's actually a caterpillar taken at my home in Southern California. And he was among like 50 other friends and they were so happy and so psyched. And then the next day they ran out of food. So like I said, I, I didn't give them enough. So this year I'm going to plant like 10 more plants. Um, but you know, by, by planting this collection, it's called the butterfly bouquet because this is a hybrid milkweed. So traditional native milkweed, it's not that pretty, but the monarch doesn't really mind. But for us, this collection, it's four colors, which we've never been able to do so before. Beautiful, so beautiful, right? So gorgeous. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. Stephanie, I have a video that actually I want to show you. So Let's see it. now we have raised monarch butterflies at my house. You absolutely do not need to bring them in. I'm not saying right. you have to do this if you order these plants. It's just something that my kids and I and my husband did. So I we created this video. Uh, what the, the milkweed that you're seeing right here, that monarch caterpillar, that egg was mm -hmm. laid on my Roberta's milkweed. We brought it in. There it is becoming a chrysalis. And then the chrysalis become clear in about 10 days. Here's the monarch emerging, and you can see the lead, or the wings are starting to fill up. And then mm -hmm. my husband and I, my kids, took them outside and released them. And we did this about, I guess we did it three times that year. You know, just I'd find eggs outside on my Roberta's. There they go, flying away. Um, so it's amazing. it is so rewarding. And I would tell anyone, if you want to bring them inside and do that, it's fun. The kids like it. It's really like this great science lesson, but you Absolutely. certainly do not have to do that. By just growing Roberta's milkweed, you are actually doing a lot. A lot of people mm -hmm. are ordering more than one set. I'm going to tell you Fantastic. it's a good idea. And I'm not saying this because I want to sell more plants. 
Stephanie can take but, care of that on her own. Everybody loves Roberta's. I'm saying it because as someone who's done this, if you're lucky enough to get monarchs, and you will, they're going to want mm -hmm. the food. And, and Sammy, Absolutely. they really, you know, I've had people on my Facebook page say, oh, and I think they land on this kind of plant, too. They really only lay their eggs and eat. Other butterflies, different types of plants, for sure. But totally. monarchs only lay their eggs and can only mm -hmm. eat the milkweed. So imagine right. the female monarch. She's flying. She's got to lay her eggs, and she can't find milkweed. That's so right. if we all grow it, it's pretty cool. Imagine. Yeah. We could repopulate the monarchs very quickly. <laughs> we it's could. true. It's very true. And I wanted to just show you, Sandra, what it is that you'll be receiving. This is a fully grown plant. You know, this is not a bare root. These are super ready to be planted in your containers, in the ground. They're going to bloom for you this very first year. And you will have monarchs this very first year because, oh. like you said, Sandra, when they're flying around, they have, like, laser vision, and they are looking for one plant, and it is this milkweed. So, okay. you know, I have a couple questions video? for you, actually. Um, so on my Facebook page, we're getting some questions. First of all, Irene says, too early for plants in New Jersey. Might have snow at the end of this week. Okay. I'm so glad she said that. We don't mm -hmm. ship anything until it's the right. right time. So you're ordering now. These will not be shipped to you until it's the right time for you to plant. So you don't even need to know That's your right. zone. Roberta's will take care of it for you. And then mm -hmm. another question, Kathy said, I have a question regarding the butterfly uh, weed, milkweed. She said for the mm -hmm. past couple of years, she's actually had problems with some aphids. Any idea how to get rid of aphids if that happens to your milkweed? That's a good question. Yeah, you know, with aphids, you can use uh, various different things. Neem oil is a good one. That's what I tend to use in, in my garden because I like to stay away from, like, harsh chemicals, and neem is very natural. So I would just recommend spraying down your plants. Um, but, if it, you know, the, the butterflies and the caterpillars, they're still going to eat the foliage, so don't, don't worry about that. You're still going to have the monarchs. And as you see here, um, Sandra, it's not just the monarchs. Like you were mentioning, you will have other pollinators, such as the swallowtail, your bees, other sorts of butterflies. Um, but this is the only plant that the monarch butterfly is going to lay its eggs on, and then those caterpillars are going to eat the leaves of. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So you get all four of them for three easy mm -hmm. payments of $11.17. These plants will only be shipped to you when it's n the right time for you to ship. So past the threat of frost, we'll send these to you at the right time. You get mm -hmm. them home. Can you show, oh, look, there's the butterflies. Can you show what the plants will look like when we get them home? I and we will have to. flowers this first year, and then the perennials, they come back every single year. So even, Absolutely. I want to say this too, Stephanie, even if you get these and the monarchs will hopefully do a number on them and eat, <laughs> eat a lot of them, it doesn't uh -huh. really matter. That, those perennials, they will come back every single year just bigger and more beautiful. Exactly. This is one of the most winter-hardy perennials we actually bring to QVC. So even if you live in North Dakota, you can grow this. Um, but yeah, these are this is one of four that you will be receiving and they are not bare root. These are plants that are super ready. They've already gone through one winter. It's called vernalization. So they've been vernalized. They're super ready to be planted in the ground. You know, pick up a couple sets, plant them in the containers and dot, you know, your balconies where you're going to be having um, evening dinners in the summertime. So the butterflies are up close and personal. Yeah. And then, you know, maybe plant some out in the back of the yard just for the monarchs to enjoy. That's right. And actually, if you're someone who doesn't have a yard or, you know, you live in a smaller townhouse community or apartment with a balcony, right. put them in containers and then how nice totally. you'll be able to see the monarchs too. Stephanie, thank you so much. So we're going to, from Roberta's, we still have our calla lily bulbs coming up, which are coming up next. We're going to get to our vegetalist beef steak.